you're welcome to the stream. I'm getting to the to the chat now. Thanks for joining early too. Right, what do we got? Yes, I'm excited to play them, them hero, Empire. I uh, still can't see my chat. Still loading the chat. Everything's just running so slow tonight. Oh, there we go, Lime Vlogs. Hello, Lime Vlogs. What's up, my dude? Damn. Oh, you love my live streams? Oh, thanks. Thanks. We're getting started, I'm just uh, making sure I can see the chat properly. Yeah, not much, not much, I just bought this game. It was one of the games that I did see on a, on a 2018 uh, release video. So, yeah, this was one of the games I wanted to play. Why do I live stream every time? Um, I enjoy it. I used to live stream a lot more, but um, twelve dreams for the Red Queen oh, let's enjoy and the, the Crown of Stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants' last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the evil but yes, and unknown, thanks for the questions. Keep them coming. No, I, I enjoy answering all my subscribers' questions. The of why do what? What not? Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life Draculia. but death pending? Death. Damn, I do not know what is up. Since the apple with was my plucked from the sacred tree, live dashboard of the mortality moment. was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so No worries, Lion Blogs. Um, yeah, thanks for stopping in. Uh, come back through, you know, in and out. That's okay. Thanks for stopping in, Lion Blogs. punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. All right, Draculia.
who else is going to join the stream next? Oh man, we have to start playing. Okay. Alright, let's move around. Left choice. The oh, we're stumbling. We must have just got bitten. Follow the blood trail. Following the blood trail. I hope that's not Chris's blood. <laughs> Whoa. Can't do anything just as yet. Thirsty. Thirsty. I think I might rather enjoy this game. Explain. Alright, Jonathan Jacquelia. So his name's Jonathan. Just say his name. These patrols are after me. These patrols are after me. Okay. This is our first little. No, no, don't Whoa. shoot. Oh, okay, okay. This is our first tutorial. This is a nightmare. I need to get out of here. This is a nightmare. The old three viewers, everyone. Well done. Let's get there. This can't be happening. It's the spirit. No, please oh. stop. I mean you no harm. What? I can't do anything. Let's just head for the hills. What's going on? Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? What is this? Now, I can defend myself. Okay. Tricky bastards. Who are you? You want some of me? Stay back! Sorry. 
But you left me no First choice. kill. Kill confirmed. Who are you? Stupid beast! Oh, that was a good dodge. You like that one? Yeah. The thunder, the lightning. I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech! Please, listen to me. I can't make any oh, sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! What in God's sake? At least it's my fast time events. Just, just leave me! The sun. Aggravated damage. Feels like it's burning me to the bone. The aggravated damage lock reduces your maximum health gauge. I still didn't understand that what I just read, but. I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go. Oh, I still can't find a jump button. Okay. So we we'll sprint. I need to find shelter. Is anybody there? What is this place? The place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. Okay. This is all about Mary. Yeah, I like to look around. I like to try and find things. Yes, yeah, so let's get that um, chat working if you know what I mean if you feel like it I am on air I am live on air I am here to talk to you
No. No. I still have so much to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. Yo, let's go. Three viewers and growing. Well done, everyone. Bring some of your friends. The cutscenes are actually pretty cool. Is that a revolver? Lost. Another one. We need to leave. And now no. there's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming. The orders are to evacuate the hospital. <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy. Used revolver. Right. Where's the brother gotta go? under the bed. There's always something under the bed. Another cutscene. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pick in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy the shell takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him a leave. Well, I'm liking the start of it. Seems very cruisy and relaxed, but I think I've been watching a few streams, so I think it does I get a little hard. Fire and sun, new collectible. What's this button do? Yep, that's all I need. Shillings. The sun is high. I cannot leave now. Okay, so I can't go outside during the day because I'm a vampire. So what do we do? Play Monopoly till the sun goes down? Because there were no video games back then. Bottle of alcohol. Mirror. There's always something in the mirror. A 
I'll leave it on the screen for a little bit in case anyone wants to read a bit of it but Bloody Mary Is like a physical weight pressing against the wood. It's got to be something else. Yo, yes, we got the four viewers. All viewers, yes. Well done, everyone. Welcome to the stream. We're just chilling in my little vampire mansion, waiting for the sun to go down so we can get a feed. Starving. Oh man, it's got to be better time. remain here until nightfall. Yeah, I do take tips as well from from viewers. I don't mind a little bit of, uh, you know, backseat backseat driving. I like it. Hmm. What do we do? Swing from the chandeliers. Where's Draculia? There's a good. Uh, Dracula movie on Netflix. I think it's even called Dracula, but it's an old one. But it's a good one. Alright. Something we're missing. Oh, okay. We have to go to bed. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. Dorothy, Jonathan. Dorothy. So be it. No. What are you doing? Rational thinking. I don't want to. I don't have to. Who's telling me to shoot? I don't have to. Fine. Vampiro. Welcome to Vampiro. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blood in sunlight. Into a glowing flesh. Hmm. 
what do we want? Can we go for bite? Level three required. Defense level four. Damn. What level am I? Ten shillings. You train your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. This just opens up like a door to so much now, doesn't it? Oh no. Six hundred points. Thirteen hundred points. We gotta get we gotta get our bite happening soon. I think that's how you level up the fastest. What is this? Uh, cut of living creatures in front of you. Sounds good. Claws. to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. So how do we track that? I'm going to take it nice and slow. Uh, let's get used to the map. mission. Main quest is where the Y is. Alright, party people, let's go. Let's, let's go to the main quest. This is our first quest. Where is it? It's closed. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here. 
My head's spinning. Oi! Come out, you coward! So we can, can, can get back here. It's locked. Locked. Used stake. Shelter key. Alright. What's this used stake? Oh. Oh, okay. That's cool. He's cool. Let's see if I can remember it. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Over there! Alright, what's happening? Stun press on to you. Stake, stun dodge. I, I got this one. Of them <laughs> Strength I never knew I had. It's just so freaky. Yeah, this is a really good game, eh? I was very upset that I missed the God of War for fund funding reasons. But I'm glad Glad I got this one. Yes, look at our first bite. Noise. Got me there, partner. Oh no. One and done. That guy with the gun, eh? So L1 is L1 is heal. I like to think out loud. That's what I do. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Thanks. Let this sort of stuns them so you can bite them. Oh. 
Oh no, wrong button. Okay, this is tough, this guy. My strength. My reflexes. the way they made the the controls in this game it actually feels like you're an actual if only I had controlled my need for the empire Mary someone will pay for what happened to you for what happened to us I Did she just eat a rat of blood it's locked So we can teleport over there. Let's check this room. I cannot enter. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. It's locked. I cannot enter. The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant.
This is a slaughterhouse. It's locked, all right. This looks like my house. Honey, I'm home. I cannot enter. No one in sight. There's nobody here. No one's there. At last, a little life. Welcome, sir, to the Turquoise Turtle. Oh, God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, oh, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. I need to meet this man. I have... Questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir... Uh, yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. It's a good thing you haven't seen me now, Mom. Right. Okay, so obviously we can go through and talk to every person in the building, but... 
<clears throat> Wait a moment. He just said, just go right on up. Slowly, vampire. <clears throat> Who are you? I, I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. With anyone. That's something I can do for you. <sighs> and who might you be? you want, then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. You seem the expert. How would that be? I have my secrets, as you have yours. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. No. No, we are not. I seek the cruel predator who brought this upon me. This is my personal affair. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. Stand and pray we shall meet again. Because this is based in England and blood it's about Bloody Mary. And it makes sense. Yes. It does. Well, I don't know the full story, but.
bed here. Nice. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must you know locals. something. Interrogate you. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. Well, if you must. Why did I have to always do the exclamation mark? What is this place? This is Tom's bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. It's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. What happened tonight? He was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom.
gotta be something can be done again. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blame the sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. Dude, this guy's just drunk. I'll leave you to your bottle then. find what you were after I can't say I have are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived hey I told you you were the only other stranger I've had season hints force season to reveal information thanks to a hint you have discovered blue Tom talk to me about the visit from your old friend William Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? All right, Tom. There's got to be something can be done to get out of this. Right. Oh, mess. Jack, Track the killer. He didn't deserve this. Inspect the boats. Let's inspect the boats. But first, we're going to take a look around. I wonder if he will let me have the back of his bar. It's a good thing you can't see me now, Mum. I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming for them. What's in here? break. Uh, let's fill around with some settings and I'll be right back. It's a good thing you cannot see me now, Mum. Jack. He 
you didn't deserve this. There's gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. No? I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. If there's anyone watching, we're just on a short break. Just um, changing some settings around. If there's anyone here. It's a good thing you can also. Stupid or something. I've never even been to India. There's gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. No. I think I'm losing my mind. I should just run as far away from this place as I can. Okay. There's got to be something can be done to get out of bullshit. Take the killer it's back to boats. Take the killer. I will get to the bottom of it. 
Occupation volunteers. This intrigue. What's been done to me? To the city? is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. What's this? Some sort of note. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. Shut that foolish man of yours. Never know the colour to be wrong by that angle. Right. Don't ask him to make up. Three weeks to the day. All the more reason to show it.
Don't come closer, sir. Stupid bitch! Ah. 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 This one's a top! I have this thirst for blood. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy.
let go of me. Stand it anymore. One we shall over. Done it before. Not a little. Had a drink at Sarge and I already and it did not quench my thirst. I must have more. Oh dear God, not again. Will you please stop? This place reeks of bloodshed. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down.
let me go. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. <laughs> Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by Skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that... Skull, you must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Were hmm. well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of the town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. How, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. 
<laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed, and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. We'll have a word in my office later, Jonathan. Come on, you bastard! You can do better than that! It's my turn! Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the seed of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. Come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain. Guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. 
Take my word, I was. I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <laughs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go, but no famished hunter can run for long. Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, 
But in the end, everybody is doing their best. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Goodbye, Dr. Tippetts. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor, with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in, how does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research.
This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. The flower's dying. It needs water. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood?
on, I don't have all night. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. It's locked.
It's locked, all right. Skull voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody... Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities.
Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face, no. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elm. I know I can count. I wish I could say the same for the other. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed! Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more... alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox.
I cannot enter.
behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. It's locked, all right. These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. Ugh! 
Mr. Connor's injured. don't match the report. I'd better look into this.
Okay, that, <clears throat> that's going to be the end of the stream. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, yeah, let's get some more, more, uh, <clears throat> more support for the channel in future streams, hopefully. So thanks for that, everyone. Appreciate it.